Greetings family, I hope you're well. My name is Tony Petsu and today I'll be answering various questions on racism including were Nigel Farage's anti-immigration comments racist. Last night I was driving late and whilst flipping through the radio I also had a discussion with LBC where presenter Ian Dell claimed that African people had a culture making them more of a sexual threat to women. Sadly I didn't record it to play to you, but basically he was parroting the comments of UKIP leader Nigel Farage who was claiming that rapes would increase if African people were allowed to migrate to UK from Europe. Now most people who were throwing in were actually agreeing, but a few were asking the simple question, is Nigel Farage a racist? Now this morning, the day after, the radio shock job Mick Ferrari continued the theme, but this time insultingly abusing the legacy and passing of our recent ancestor Muhammad Ali by asking, is it possible for a person to be unknowingly racist? And then questioning whether Ali's greatest fight was challenging racism. Well, let me answer all of these questions. First, was Ali's greatest fight challenging racism? Well, quite simply, no. It was living with dignity and inspiring African people worldwide to stand up with pride and believe in their ability to be the greatest at whatever they attempted. Many of the people crying fake crocodiles tales today called Ali a racist behind closed doors for challenging white supremacy in its face and standing side to side with Malcolm X back in the day. The next question, is it possible to be unknowingly racist? Well, again, the simple answer is no. Races are not born, they are created. Whilst prejudice and ignorance exist throughout the human family, the decision to negatively discriminate against particular ethnic groups, especially those that appear unable to slap back, is a conscious decision made by those backed by personal, and more importantly, institutional power. Whether it's Afrophobia or Islamophobia, when wicked Europeans make racist comments against Africans, Muslims or immigrants, they are using the safety of their white privilege to attack a group they believe unable to defend themselves effectively. From the Organisation of African Unity, the Black Panthers, the factions of the NOI, white powers always feared and organised black power. And finally, is Nigel Farage or his comments racist? Well, quite simply, yes. Let me say that again. Yes. Affirmative. See, we, ya, yeah, sing, shy, he, he, I wear it, and I am, I ain't, they're deep going, Sahili, and hell yeah. His comments are not only racist, but he himself is a racist, as are Ian Dell, Nick Ferrari, Boyce Johnson, Donald Trump, and the entire Tory party, including those puppet Africans like Kwame Kwarteng and Adam Athrine. Now, I won't waste any breath explaining why, and only hope Ali gives them awesome licks when they join the ancestral realm for being such a despicable waste of human potential. Now for those of you who are interested in this in and out EU nonsense, there's a powerful exhibition called Call Me By My Name at the Migration Museum in East London. Please check it out. I'm going to close by saying, please remember, racists have been trying to wipe African people off the face of this earth for hundreds of years, but we're still standing. Every day we are alive is a beautiful day, so please go out there, live life, fulfill your purpose, don't have nightmares, and sleep well. May the ancestors guide and protect us. Asher.